Welcome to my channel, The Linky Lefty 27. I'm Jason, I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist. Today I wanna to talk about obstructive sleep apnea, sleep and post-traumatic stress disorder. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. Get lots of emails from people, from vets that say, hey, can you do something on post-traumatic stress disorder? I've been suffering with this, uh, I don't know what to do. And so I'm really sensitive to that, it's a sensitive topic. And finally, I've been pushed into action. Why? Because of a video game. Now I love me some Clash of Clans, and in this clan, there are a lot of vets. Some of them know that I have a YouTube channel, and so the topic of PTSD and sleep came up. One's that CPAP slash PTSD video coming up, Lanky. I need to learn so I can convince the VA I wanna try it. Dang, I forgot about it. My <laughs> probe got, got my mind elsewhere so I can live a normal life. And honestly, that kind of stuff really hits home. You know, I do have an uncle that served as a sniper in Vietnam. I have my dad served in the Air Force. My brother-in-law was a Harrier pilot. And then I coach with a guy now who was an Army Ranger. There's, there's, there's a lot of overlap and I can see how this affects people in real life. So let's talk about it. Let's take the stigma off of it. Let's just open the door for conversation. Don't feel alone in this. There's a lot of people that actually deal with this. There's more than you know, and there is a link to obstructive sleep apnea that we can talk about right now. This is fixable, it is doable. There's a lot of you, so don't feel like you're alone. Now, some of this goes to anyone that has PTSD. So victims of uh, robbery, violent assault, sexual assault, home invasion robbery, you, you name it. Any of these would qualify for sure. Part of this video is gonna focus strictly on vets. So this is more or less for uh, men and women of our armed services. So post-traumatic stress disorder is considered a psychiatric disorder caused by exposure to some kind of a traumatic event. So the vet will experience things like flashbacks, they'll avoid stimulation that causes those flashbacks. They'll have negative changes in mood and thought. They'll have worsened work and social interactions. And they also suffer from hyperarousal symptoms, which is where they, they just wake up at night for no apparent reason. So what is the link between post-traumatic stress disorder and obstructive sleep apnea. People with PTSD, they have a heightened arousal threshold that we just mentioned. These frequent awakenings lead to an increase in sleep fragmentation and sleep deprivation, which is gonna promote airway collapse, which is going to further increase arousals or awakenings at night. These constant awakenings triggers a flight or flight, which in response is gonna increase cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone, which feeds into the post-traumatic stress disorder worsening. Now this sleep fragmentation occurs mostly during REM sleep, which is so closely linked with mood and thought disorders. So it appears that obstructive sleep apnea and post-traumatic stress disorder, they feed on each other like a toxic negative relationship, each making the other one worse. There's some studies that actually show that an obstructive sleep apnea diagnosis prior to the traumatic event that caused the post-traumatic stress disorder actually is a predictor of post-traumatic stress disorder. People who have started using CPAP who have post-traumatic stress disorder actually notice a huge improvement in the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. People who use CPAP that have PTSD actually notice an improvement in their PTSD symptoms once they start using CPAP regularly. There's a lot of studies that actually support this, including one by someone who I consider to be a colleague, Dr. Barry Krako. This is a guy who also shares my hatred for the underreporting of respiratory effort related arousals. He found that CPAP users who also had PTSD reported a 75% improvement in PTSD symptoms as compared with the group who also had PTSD did not use CPAP and reported worsening PTSD symptoms. Unfortunately, there are some challenges to this that can be overcome. People who have PTSD that use CPAP to treat their obstructive sleep apnea actually have a very low adherence to CPAP usage. And one of the main reasons for this is what's reported as a hypervigilance syndrome, where they are super aware of their surroundings. They feel that CPAP and using CPAP is going to impede their ability to fight off things like a home invader. Just any outside threat, they perceive CPAP as being something that is gonna prevent them from acting on that threat. So in terms of resolving your obstructive sleep apnea, you have to do what everyone else does, and that is actually resolving that by the use of CPAP to keep your airway open and at least give you the opportunity to remain asleep. Dealing with PTSD, that's out of my realm. Please talk to someone in the mental health profession for advice on how to deal with PTSD. All right, how do you make your case in getting a CPAP machine or getting tested for it? So most of you go through the VA. 
So if you're looking to get disability with the VA for your obstructive sleep apnea, or you're just looking to get treated, you need to make a case with them that your PTSD and obstructive sleep apnea are related. And to do that, you need what is called a nexus letter. The nexus letter basically just says your, your obstructive sleep apnea, let me get the wording right here. Your obstructive sleep apnea is as likely as not to have been caused by your service-connected PTSD or another service-connected condition. Let me repeat that. You need a nexus letter saying that your obstructive sleep apnea is as likely as not to have been caused by your service-connected PTSD or another service-connected condition. If you want the VA to cover it, even if a civilian MD has already diagnosed you with obstructive sleep apnea, you'll still need to have a diagnosis by the VA. Just another hoop you need to jump through. Now, my friend I coach baseball with, he didn't like that. He now has to be followed around by security anytime he visits the VA. Follow procedure, be as kind as possible, and know that that's just something, another hoop you have to jump through to get the treatment that you're looking for. And the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is please be completely open and honest with your VA physician if you feel that your obstructive sleep apnea and your post-traumatic stress disorder are related. There's a high likelihood that they are, that they're feeding into each other. There's tons of research that you can find, a lot of research papers on this. There is a link, there is help, things do get better. Please don't give up, please stick with it. I'm working on trying to speak with someone about this. I understand this is, this is different from just night terrors at night. It's far beyond that. I understand that. And with that, I can't think of a worse time to pimp the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. Uh, guys, if you're looking for CPAP masks or equipment, not including machines, you can use discount code LOVELANKY. You get 20% off. Oh, excuse me, Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn, that's a terrible deal. That's not a terrible deal. 20% 20, 20, 20 off is a great deal. Jocelyn last month was 25% off. What do you want me to call him and see if I can get a better deal? Oh, it's the right thing to do, Jocelyn. Hey there, it's Jocelyn. I mean, it's Jason. Yeah, hey, it's about the discount code for February. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Lego man again. I told him that. I know, he's costing us all a lot of money. All right, sounds good. For the month of February, you can now get 25% off using discount code LOVELANKY. Uh, Jocelyn, what about those loyalty reward program? What about it? I think you should throw in 100 loyalty rewards points. You're kind of cheap, Jocelyn. Can we add some loyalty rewards points too? Yeah, Lego man. Okay, for the month of February, use discount code LOVELANKY, get 25% any mask or accessory, and get 100 loyalty reward program points. All right, all, thank you for watching the video. If you wanna have a pap therapy analysis with me, check out axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Buy yourself some mask bright because you got a stinky mask. And I wanna open up the comment section. Let me know if you have any experience with CPAP, PTSD, and if your PTSD actually improved by using CPAP. I'm really interested to hearing this. The other thing we have to make note of, I actually mentioned AXG Sleep Diagnostics, optimizing your CPAP therapy is critical to this. If you're using CPAP and you're having a massive mouth leak or you're on an inappropriate pressure or an inappropriate mode of therapy, you're basically pissing in the wind. It does have to be optimized. So if you are looking to have it optimized and your physician you don't think is doing a, an appropriate job for you, please reach out, I'm here to help. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Good night. Clean your stinky mask with some mask bright available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick Thanks, butter, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espolong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks, buddy, to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters.